This was published in 1990 by Nexus Press out of Atlanta. You know, I'm more used to being on the other side of the mic. <laughs> so uh, something happened and I began writing. And that experience, in a sense, has never left me. So I love to talk to writers about writing. Everyone has their own experience mm -hmm. of how it happens. My dad, uh, who's a veteran, uh, sold restaurant equipment okay. throughout the Midwest. So when I had a chance and an offer from my dad to, to take over the company, uh, I had to say no. I moved to Boston. Ran okay. off with a woman twice my age, you know. Hey. I remember checking out books to Carolyn Kennedy. You know, he's, uh, I'm the person who took the catalog card to the catalog card files and filed the catalog cards. So upstairs from the Mott Library is still the Woodbury Poetry Room, but the, the Poetry Room had all the poets of the day would come and go and give readings and impromptu readings, and I was downstairs. You know, I get a call, I'm stressed, come, come on up, you know, somebody's here. Uh -huh. I am simply a worker of the sentence. I gave away more than I sold, uh -huh. but I loved giving them away. Yeah. I loved that, knowing that a few hundred people suddenly over one yeah. day have my book. Mm -hmm. A couple of my short stories at the time, I was writing shorter pieces, got into the hands of folks who decided to turn them into artist books. Okay. Because not everyone speaks, yeah. you know, tremendously all the time. My dad, the more interesting aspect about my dad was, besides being, you know, a savvy businessman, mm -hmm. was that uh, uh, he had been a boxer, a golden gloves boxer. Really? And then in his later years, uh, after my mom passed, became very active in the uh, Jewish war veterans in Kansas City, so he's, okay. he's his own force of nature at 97. Got From to make a living. Yeah. Of the interview, by the end, and I was like out of my body uh -huh. by the end, you know, just, just, just speak, you know, just hearing, hearing that voice uh -huh, uh -huh. and speaking with him at the end. I don't even know what happened. It was seven minutes. Like he was a smooth, a smooth talker, but a brilliant thinker. Mm -hmm. And he developed to listen to the sounds. Mm -hmm. So he's like an analog, but he's a, he's just a master mm -hmm. of sound. You know, 20, 20 years later, that is awesome. what's been happening? Yeah. <laughs> People's voices, you must be true to their voice. Yeah. We just did a story on Michael Davenport, the painter with no arms. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And that story is unbelievable. I mean, so Athens Uncharted is just this incubator for what Bo and I find in town and who we find and quirkiness and randomness. And I want to meet them all. Way. Handmade in Mexico uh, with a river running through it. It's an accordion binding. This is the type of book you'll see at the Harvard Writers Circle. But books like this, you can't even describe what they are. Yeah. But you've got to see the shapes and sizes. Thank you.